Julian is a really interesting character, I think. Uh, first and foremost, he, in his own mind, is the coolest man in the whole entire world, the coolest man on the planet. The reality is, he's not actually that cool. Um, he's cool in comparison to Ian, and I think that's something that he thrives on. I think partly the reason why they become such good friends is because Julian can kind of lead Ian astray a little bit, and Julian can have his fun because he knows that Ian is never really going to kind of shut him down or stop him having his fun. It's a bit weird, though. Weird? She's a bit, like, blokey. Blokey? Do you know what? You're, you're just jealous because, for once, somebody's looking at me. Weirdly, there's a bit of an element of tragedy to Julian's character in some ways because they are both kind of pushing 30, and I think Ian's kind of conscious of that, but Julian never is. He always wants to go out and he wants to get drunk and he wants to have the women and all this, and he wants that lifestyle. But I think that the fact is he is getting on a little bit and it kind of can come off a little bit tragic at times, but he's the person that doesn't think it's tragic at all. I think actually underneath the bravado, he is fundamentally quite a nice guy. He does know the difference between wrong and right. And I think you do see that come across in the show a lot with the friendship that's formed between Julian, Ian and Lucy as well. There's some really nice moments with real warmth. So I think there is that side of his character, but it would never let anyone, especially women, see that side of his character. So a lot of it with Julian is bravado, but he's great fun to play as well because there's no sort of limits to what Julian can do as a character. Um, where I think with, with Ian, he is kind of a bit more straight laced than Julian. And I think that Kipling hates everything that Julian stands for. Jewelry? Tattoos, all in the name of art. Get out! Uh, and he doesn't quite play by Kipling's rules, but that makes for great stories. Um, but yeah, he's great fun to play. And uh, I think that there's a kind of a, a potential pitfall with him that people could take Julian the wrong way and think that he's just an arrogant kind of self-centered egomaniac. He is, but he means it in the best possible way. Um, he, he does it because he thinks that's the right way to do things. And I think he's fundamentally quite a flawed character in that sense, but ultimately he does mean good and he is quite a good bloke. Get ready, this is gonna be mint.